talking about marketing without money, we think they were going straight to the web, you know, straight to Instagram. But you brought up the old school stuff, you know, the networking and the and the speaking and the connecting and things of that nature. However, we do have this thing called social media, and I have already been tagged in quite a few different posts of people, you know, so if you were speaking, like Jeff, so you, you, you do the speech, but while you're speaking, somebody is tagging you and putting you on Facebook, so it gets all those other plays as, as well, right, and all those different things. You know, marketing without money, uh, you can do it, but you can't market without effort. You, can't, you cannot market without effort, but you can market without money, uh, because I think a thing that a lot of people miss, and I get to focus on this because I don't work for the man, right, um, is uh, people forget that uh, to the person you're interacting with, to the customer that's in front of you, to the person you have a conversation with, uh, you, you are a brand. You are the representative of that company. It's not about selling and pushing and whatever, but if you're sincere in helping other people, you know, for example, social media tips. Okay, that's my one tip, okay, I tell people. All right, 100 evergreen tips about your expertise and tweet them a lot. You could tweet one every five hours and it wouldn't repeat for a month and a half. Okay, and just from that right there, you're going to get people asking you more questions about other things and wanting to hire you because now you've helped them. And for me, I mean, Facebook's awesome and I love it too. Um, I love all of them, but Twitter is one of the easiest ways I think for a business owner to grow an online presence and get clients. Yes. For me, uh, LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups. Yes, I post and I've built a brand and a following on those platforms. But I look at groups as a way to better engage with mm -hmm. the people, your community, as well as to when you, I do a lot of networking. And so when I'm in the group, I meet people that I've met through networking who's in those Facebook mm -hmm. and LinkedIn groups. So it's kind of nurturing and building that relationship, taking it from a, you know, the old school way of net meeting people and building those relationships, but nurturing it and, and engaging with them online. I just kind of piggyback on something that Jerry touched on a little bit. Uh, it's really about knowing your audience. So that's where the strategy piece comes in too. Part of the strategy is really developing a very specific profile of who your very best client or your target audience is, and then you find out where they are, and that's the platform you use. And that's where you put your message because that's what's going to attract the people that you ideally want to be engaging with you. And then the content that you put out has to be entertaining and educating uh, because nobody's going to pay attention to it. Again, if you're just trying to sell, if you put out value, put out uh, content uh, that has real value and is focused on entertaining and educating that ideal. Uh, audience or that ideal client, then you're going to have a lot better success whatever platform you're on. I'll just add, don't forget video. Mm -hmm. We're, you know, this is Mark's company and we've got videographers here tonight, but video is a very powerful way to express personality. So make the most of every day, by golly, and mm -hmm. do everything you can and recognize that seriously, I, I'm telling you, your time is your most valuable asset, Absolutely. period, period. Period. You can market without money, but, but marketing is not free because your time and effort mm -hmm. is a commodity. Mm -hmm. And it does require a lot of time and effort and again a strategy and a plan and you have to follow through with the plan.